What's up everybody, this is Hillbillies here, and welcome back to Orcarina of Time. This is episode 9 now, and uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, after the episode had ended last time, I made my way back to the, the castle so that I could, you know, hopefully save inside the town or whatever and just spawn there. But there was a cutscene that occurred, and of course I didn't have my game capture running, so I figured while I make my way back to the castle now, I will show you guys the cutscene, so I hope you enjoy. Alright everybody, so as you saw from that cutscene, uh, Zelda basically was escaping the castle there and threw the uh, orc arena <coughs> inside the, uh, in the water there, and I went and picked it up after, and Ganondorf had, you know, been like, oh, do you know where they're going and all that stuff, so, 
It also mentioned, like, once I picked up the Orcarina, of course, to go to the Temple of Time and play the Song of Time, I guess. And everybody's, I guess, wondering where she is. And, of course, that cutscene wasn't, you know, I had to go and look up that cutscene, so I'll leave a link to where I found that cutscene, of course. So let's go right now to the Temple of Time. And let's go play this. I assume that means that I'm going to end up as, like, older Link. Which would be really cool. Because there's a few things around towns and stuff I think I can actually do while I'm there. Now, do I have to be all the way in here? Probably, eh? Oh, okay, no, I have to probably stand back here. Alright. So, what is the thing? Uh, it is right A down, right A down. I actually saved it this time, so I wouldn't forget it. I couldn't find the other paper that I had that had all the other ones on, though. Nothing? Okay. Do I have to play it up here? Oh, maybe in front of the door, right? Wait, what's this say? That's how the inscription reads. Oh. Let's try it over here, then. Maybe we... And if not here, then right in front of the door. It's weird that it's so particular about it, which exact spot you're standing in. Ah, uh, there we go. Cool. And? Wh wait, what? Oh, okay, that's all the stones and stuff that I went and found. Holy oh, crap. Whoa. Does that mean I'm going to get the door opened? I would mind having the door open. Ah, okay. Yes, I think so. Come on, let me go in, I want to see. Let me enter. Ooh. Isn't that... What is that? I don't know what that is. Show me what that is. Ooh, it's the Master Sword, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Sweet. So if I touch it, am I going to become older? Can you do it? Sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Um, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. Uh oh, you have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. That's not good. <laughs> not good at all. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Crap. I got the cool sword, though. I'll take him out later. Oh, man. That's not very good. Brandon, wake up. Right of the Chosen One. We kind of just let him in, and we should probably go do something about what's going on. What is happening? Whoa. What? Am I still in that room? What is going on? Where am I? Who wait? Who's that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am Roru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Oh crap. Brandon, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Are we older now? Yay! Sweet. Oh yeah, and I already have the other Hyrule sword, or Hyrule shield, so we can use that now. Look, Brandon, you're big now. You've grown up. Sweet. 
The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Oh, wow. Okay, so I just disappeared. And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. So a lot of stuff has probably gone down, right? Do you understand your destiny? I do. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Evil. Uh oh. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. Oh great. My power now only has little influence even in this sacred realm. Namely this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I roar rule. And one of the sages and... Your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. So are you going to give me a power then? Kind of like how the fairies do? Which there is a fairy near the temple. I should probably go and uh, try and find her. I don't know what that is. Is that just a sage seal or a symbol or the light medallion? Roar the sage adds his power to yours. So what power did he give me exactly? Find the other sages and save Hyrule. All right. I imagine they're at the end of each temple. Temple of Time. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Nice. I can teleport it back. And I've been in here for seven years, and everything is dark. We're back in the Temple of Time, but if seven years really passed, it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Really? Here. So can I switch? I guess I can switch back and forth whenever I want with the time song. So what don't I have? I probably don't have the slingshot or anything. Wait, what? Who's that? Huh? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. Okay, there we go. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand, together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people. The Sheikah? I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. I don't know how to say that right. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. So five temples left, eh? One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple, really. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go there. Huh. Anything else? Do you have anything else to say to me? To save the forest girl, you need another skill. Head to Kakariko Village. Alright, well I'm going to save it too. So away we go. And the sword. Oh yes, it's so much better. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what I... Uh, so. I... Well, I can't use the small sword, obviously. Okay, I can't use the stick, the slingshot, or the boomerang. Really? They don't let you use the boomerang? I guess it was a small then or something. Strange. Now that... That does not look good. Wow. Things uh, changed in seven years. 
everything's so dark and gloomy and oh my god there's there really are just monsters everywhere eh holy crap entire the entire towns all the towns are gone holy crap I guess that means I can't go see the fairy lady then ah, I won't worry about that let's try and go let's go to Kakariko village If I can even remember where that is. The map's huge. Oh, wait a minute, too. Ha ha ha. Let's check out the, uh... Let's go to the farm quick. Maybe I can get, the uh, Epona. That would make my life so much easier. It's weird how this is the only untouched area and everything's still bright and, like, colorful and... Oh, well, we're here though, so at least I can go and maybe get the... There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous, that guy Talon was weak. I hardworking Ingo poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. Ah, uh, that's not good. I will raise a fine horse and with recognition from the Greek Anagor. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Sure. Uh, I'm not going to bother this. I think I can figure it out. What about Epona, then? Wait, what? Am I supposed to be doing anything specific? I don't understand. Why am I paying him 10 rupees to ride around on his horse if it's not going to do anything? Oh, wait. Do I just want to take a pony? Is that it? I can't, eh? What's the point of this? I don't get it. Okay, I don't want to ride around on your horse anymore. God, no, not that. What? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. Are you ready to go home? What was the... I don't get that. That's strange. Okay, that was a waste of time. Back to, uh, off to Kakariko Village. All right, here we are, going back into Kakariko Village now. Go see what's different, see what's going on, see what I can find. I don't think these people were here before, were you just standing out here? Uh, ever since he escaped from... Oh yeah, it's true, eh? I saw the ghostly figure of Downpay, the gravekeeper sinking into the grave. It looked like he was holding some kind of treasure. Maybe I didn't go get that. I think that's probably part of the new thing then. Maybe that's where it wants me to go. Uh, I'll go check the shops and see who I can find. Wait a minute. Do you guys see this? Just thought I should point this out. I know it's an older console, of course, but I think depending on how you look at that window, it is not attached to the wall, as you see. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Just thought I'd point that out. Hmm. Alright. What's this? After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. Yes, let's do it, because I need this to hatch so that I can go and wake up the guy. Haha, -ha. so it'll hatch and then I can go and wake up that guy. I think that's. Is that all I need to do? That's probably what I need to do to get opponent back, but let's go check out the graveyard anyway. Is this guy awake or anything? Probably not, eh? It says treasure, but it's like, I've already been in here before, and that's kind of. makes me wonder. Oh, wait. What? Can I speak to you? Or are you just attacking me? That's all. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, because I already searched all of these for stuff, so I don't know. Ah, never mind that. Let's go, uh, let's make this cuckoo grow, and then I can go wake up that guy. There we go. Found her. Well, it's been a long time since we had a visitor. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have been gone. Places have been ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Indigo was just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Indigo. If I disobey Mr. Er, Ingo, he, he will treat the horses so badly. So there's nothing I can do. Well, I'm just going to go get a pony because I'm sure that I can. I think I know what I have to do now, though. I was just stupid before. I hope he's still there, right? Yes? Perfect. I don't want to listen to you how to ride. Alright. So, now that I'm in here... play a Pona song. Maybe that will get her right near me, right? Yes? Hello. You must be a Pona. Let's go. Jump over that one. And jump over this one. Aha! Alright. Cool! I did your thing! Now what? Whoa, 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 stop. Let's talk to him. You're getting better! How about a little race? One lap around the corral with that horse? Sure, why not? Fifty rupees! Don't you have even fifty rupees? I don't want to race with someone so poor. Are you serious? I have to get fifty rupees? Just so I can get a Pona? God damn it, alright. Stop. Alright, guys, I'll be back. I didn't know I needed 50 rupees to do that. Alright, I'm back. Really, I have to do it again? Alright. Don't need to listen on a ride. I'll still have enough. Okay. So. A Pona song, ride a Pona, and then I will race you for 50 rupees since I had to go all the way back to, like, the town, and then break all the pots and everything, so. Heard what? What's going on? Why isn't it working? Come on. Maybe it's you. No. No, I want to ride. Don't talk to him, get on the horse. Okay. Perfect. I guess maybe it doesn't matter. No, it does, because that's a pony right there, right? Why didn't you come to me before? I had to go all the way back to town to get all these freaking rupees, and you won't even stay. What is happening? Stop. Are you kidding me? Papona, I freaking called your goddamn song. Are you serious? What the fuck went wrong there? No, I don't want to listen to a ride. I just want to ride. I already tried it before. God, what's happening? Ah, I'm an idiot. I play the freaking wrong song is what I did. God damn it. That's why. 
<sighs> I'm so stupid. I'm looking at the wrong goddamn page that I had. Shit. Okay. Jump over the first one. What? Hey, why didn't you want to jump that? Go, go, go. Come on. Where'd it go? Okay. Perfect. Was that it? Did it work? Maybe I have to do it without stopping. There, okay, now I did it, yes. Perfect. I have to talk to you quickly. Whew, okay, yes, let's let's race. Thankfully, I made Alrighty. Let's go. Conserve my carrots a little. No. I keep hitting the fence. No. I don't want to lose this. I will win this, yes! Holy crap! Wait, what? I thought it was only one. Okay. <laughs> ha! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Ha, ah, there we go. Okay, I don't want to have to do this many too many times, so let's win this. Hey! Hit me and everything. Are you serious? Uh-oh, I think I screwed this up. Give me my carrots back, come on! No! Ah! Frig! He's harder that time. I'm gonna have to do this again. I hope we didn't... Come back and we'll have some more fun. F are you freaking kidding me? I have to go back and get another 50 rupees again? And there's nowhere nearby here, I think, that actually gives me any. Like, there's no plants or anything to hit out here, is there? You know what, guys? I'm gonna ignore opponent for now. I'm gonna come back to that later. I don't wanna do that race again. I don't wanna have to run all the way back to get another 50 rupees. So let's go back to town. And go and find this ghost thing that's in the graveyard. Alright guys, back in the graveyard, and the first one on the left here has a hole that we're going to go check out and see. I'm pretty sure it's down in here, because there's only two of them that have the uh, thing, and I've never actually been... I've, oh yeah, this is the spot that I was like wondering before. Hey, hey are you fast in your feet? Hey, may, I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Sure. Do I have to race you? Like, again? At least he's not charging me money for it. Wait, what? Oh, okay, is that... Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if that was just guiding me or actually... Uh-oh, I think I'm going the wrong way now. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I probably went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, okay, let's do this again. Frig, god damn it. Okay. Don't lose him. Fruck. God, get up. Oh. God damn it, I can't see around the corners. Uh, what? Okay, oh my god. Sorry if I'm not saying much, guys. I'm just trying to concentrate and not lose this goddamn guy. Holy shit, what a long race this is. Hey, 
Are you freaking kidding me? Up ledges and stuff now? Oh my god, when is this gonna end? Shit. Oh. Uh. Okay. The time of this race is 1.13. <laughs> you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. Oh, please, thank you. I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. Ha, ah, that's what I wanted. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to a spot where it hooks sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? That does sound pretty cool. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> Oh, sweet. So it was worth it coming to here. That's what I was really meant to come and get. That's why I can't go to the forest yet. Cool! Oh, that's awesome. You can use it to drag distant items towards you, or you can use it to pull yourself to something. While holding C, you can aim with the stick and shoot it by releasing C. Let's test it. I don't imagine there's anything in this room that I can pull myself to, but... That's cool! And it's pretty long, isn't it? Like, I can shoot pretty far with it. I'm pretty sure. Awesome! Okay, so I have it now. Let's exit this place. Wait, what? Ah, that's... Wait. Oh, wait, am I just supposed to... Hookshot? Navi. Hey, oops. Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Time song. Oops, wait. There we go. Nope, not wrong with thing. Uh. God damn it. Almost never them. I can ne I'm never gonna remember them. <laughs> cool. I played the song of time. Huh? Okay. Oh, is this just another? Is this just the exit, basically? No! Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I didn't know. I was gonna go up. Are you kidding me? This guy's house is in here, you bastard. Huh? He blames it on me? Why? That's bad. Okay, so yeah, it's all that orc rain is. Yeah, next time it comes around, I'm gonna mess him up. Psst. What if I have the orc rain on my hand? What? You've got an orc rain? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Okay. You know, let me write that down quick. So, what song is that then? Song of Storms. Okay. Song of Storms. You've learned the Song of Storms. So, was that good for you or what? Oh no, a storm again? You played the Orcane again, didn't you? Grrr. Holy crap, I guess I can't get up there, can I? It's going fast. Okay, I gotta get off of this. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish I had known. I wish I hadn't jumped off that so quick. Jesus. Oh well. I guess that means we can head off to the forest, though, doesn't it? I think so. But you know, guys, it's been pretty long already this episode. Definitely not as long as some of the other ones. We're like an hour long, whatnot. So I do apologize about those. But we did quite a bit here. We managed to go, and Link is now older. We got the Master Sword. I uh, went and got the hook shot, which is pretty cool. I don't, I'll have to learn what it is that I can hook to. I think it's like rings and stuff and whatnot. What do you have to say, Navi? 
I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Saria too. Yeah. See, so she wants me to go check out Saria and see how she's doing, and that's probably where the forest temple is for the next P thing, because I think there's five temples left, like they said, which is pretty cool. So you guys let me know what you think. Uh, this episode, what do you think of the series so far? Are you enjoying the game, or have you already played the game, and what you think of it, or anything at all, really? So once again, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.